all know regarding the 1857 revolt or the first war of Indian independence. Almost 50 years ago, there happened another important event in the history of modern India, the Vellore Mutiny of 1806. Hi, this is Fatima Nistrin and welcome to Egam IAS. <music> It's been 216 years since the Vellore Mutiny of 1806 has happened. The Vellore Mutiny of 1806 was also considered as the first major mutiny by the Indian sepoys against the British force on 10th July of 1806 at Vellore, which is in present-day Tamil Nadu. Even though the mutiny lasted only a day, it sends a shockwave to the entire British establishment. Now let's see why this mutiny broke out in India. In November 1805, a new dress code was introduced for the sepoys of the Madras army. The sepoys were asked to shave off their beard and also forbidden to wear any religious marks on their forehead. Madras Army's Commander-in-Chief John Craddock asked the sepoys to wear a round hat instead of their traditional turban. This created a suspicion among the soldiers whether they are being converted into Christianity. Another prominent reason for the rise of mutiny is that the Tipu Sultan, who was the ruler of the Kingdom Mysore, he was defeated and later killed by the British. After his death, his wives, his children and servants were confined to the city of Velour. The people felt angry because of the disrespect shown to the family members of their uh, former king. And all these factors resulted in the Velour Mutiny of 1806. On 10th July, the sepoys killed many officers and captured the Velour fort. They raised the flag of Mysore Sultanate and declared Tipu's son Fateh Haider as the king. But soon, the British force led by Rolo Gillespie recaptured the fort and rescued all the remaining Europeans inside the fort. Gillespie executed all the sepoys involved and thereby bringing end to the revolt. Now let's see what were the results of the Vellur mutiny of 1806. Many sepoys were killed and injured. The Madras battalions that were involved in the mutiny were disbanded. Sir John Craddock, who was the commander-in-chief of the Madras army, was recalled by the England. The rule to wear round hats by the sepoys were cancelled. The Tipu's family who were stationed at the Vellore fort was moved to Calcutta. William Bendick, the then governor of Madras, was also recalled. The company decided to stop interfering in the religious as well as social customs of the sepoys. The company took away the flogging as the punishment. So these were the results of the Vellore mutiny of 1806. Now let's see a model question. Try to solve this question and write the answer in the comment section below. The answer, the explanation as well as the detailed material will be provided in our telegram channel. The link to our telegram channel will be provided in the description below. And if you find this video helpful, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching. <music>